Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing how you can install PostgreSQL on Ubuntu and also connect to the server using pgadmin4. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First let's open a terminal and check if PostgreSQL is already installed in our system or not. To check, let's type in psql and dash capital V, press enter. As you can see, PostgreSQL is not installed in my Ubuntu machine. So we will quickly install it. So let me clear it. The first thing we shall do is to keep our system up to date. So we'll be typing sudo apt update. Give your password. So it will update our repository. So once the update is finished, we will also upgrade it. So let me clear it. And I will type upgrade. Press enter. So everything in my system is upgraded. So I don't have to do anything else. If your system is asking you for some permission, just type Y and press enter. Other than that, we are good to go. So let me clear it. And now we'll simply install PostgreSQL. To do so, type in sudo apt install and then PostgreSQL. So this should be it. So let's press enter. As you can see, it will download around 53 megabyte of uh, PostgreSQL size. So we'll just press Y and press enter. Other than that, Y is selected by default. I'll just press enter. So it will go ahead and download the PostgreSQL dev file and subsequently install it. So PostgreSQL has been installed. Let's check it out. Let's check the version. So PSQL dash capital V. As you can see, we have our PostgreSQL 15.3 version installed. So we should be able to access it from our terminal. To access it, we will type sudo then su then the name of the user postgres press enter and now we are interacting as postgres user to access the command line interface we'll simply type psql press enter as you can see we are inside our postgres server so we can check the database back with backslash d press enter so it did not find any relation and we can also list the databases so backslash l press enter as you can see we have these we have these databases in our server so anyway postgresql should work just as fine from here on now we would also like to interact with it from pg admin 4 so we'll quickly install that so let me get out of it by pressing q on my keyboard and let me minimize it now we will go to the pg admin website so open your favorite browser and search for pg admin so we should land on the first few links so as you can see pg admin 4 is the current version so we'll click on it now we are on that website so we'll click on download either from here or from here just click any of them and from this page we'll have to select for which operating system we'd like to download it for since I'm on Ubuntu, I'll click on Apt. As you can see, here are several Ubuntu versions, but, this, the, but these are not the links, so we'll have to install using the command line interface. So first we'll set up the repository. To do so, we'll need to, we'll need to run this 
line of command so select it and copy it then open your terminal I will open another one so here from here we will just paste it and press enter but uh, let's check whether curl is already installed in my system or not if you haven't installed it it should probably not be installed in your system so let's type in curl curl press enter as you can see curl is not installed on my system so i'll have to install it fast so let's type in sudo snap install curl this should be it given your password it will go ahead and download curl for us and by using that curl we will be able to run this command anyway let's give it some time all right curl is now installed so let me clear it and now we can go ahead and paste that line of code so this would be what we'll be running so just press enter curl is already there so everything went smoothly then we'll run the next line of code so just copy it go back to your terminal paste it I probably copied all the lines so there was an issue make sure you only select the line that needs to be run so just copy this line go back to your terminal let me get out of it With control C let me clear it now we can just paste it this should be it just press enter all right everything is done and dusted now we'll run the next command go back to your browser now we'll simply install pg admin 4 so select this line of command copy it go back to your terminal let me clear it now simply paste it and press enter so it will ask you for permission press enter again and now it will go ahead and download pgadmin4 for us which we will be using to manage our postgresql server so let's wait for a few moments and i will come back when the installation is finished so while it is being downloaded we can quickly create any user for our postgresql server to do so we are already in the command line interface of postgresql we can quickly create a user we will create a super user so it will have access to all the databases to do so we will type create user and then give the name of the user post test and then we will have to give some permission so with we will create super user so type in super user and then we'll set a password so password the password we will provide is let's give it a password test one two three four this would be it put a semicolon press enter as you can see now we have created a super user for our postgresql server all right you will have to remember it the username and also the password so we can connect using pgadmin4 as you can see it is still being downloaded so we'll wait for a few more minutes all right our pgadmin4 has been installed so we should be able to access it let me clear this terminal uh, and let's go back to the browser so we have run this line of code so it should install both the desktop and web version so we do not have to do anything else we should be able to access the desktop version right away so let's try to find it as you can see pgadmin4 is there click on it 
and it should open for us. As you can see, this is the PZ admin user interface. Let me minimize the browser and maximize this window. So as you can see, we have the server, but there is nothing in there. So we have to connect to our server. So let's register our server first. Click on right click on the servers, then register and then server. Here we'll have to give it a name. So we'll simply call it test server and then we will give some connection parameters so the host name or IP address would be the local host or you can also provide the local host address so 127.0.0.1 this should be it so maintenance database let's leave it as it is username this time we will give the username that we created so it should be post test and the password we provided is test1234 you can also save passwords so, so make sure to check save password other than that everything should be fine let's try to connect it just click on save as you can see we are connected to our test servers so there are databases inside it and we have this postgres database so inside schemas and down there we have these tables we can also create tables here just right click it create and then table give it a name let's call it customer and uh, let's see what else we can do we can also create columns just click on this plus icon to do so but that is not the topic of today's video so let's leave it as it is we'll simply create a table click on save as you can see now we have our customer table so to interact with it or view the table you can simply click on view all rows and you should be able to see it anyways we haven't done anything special to it we did not create any columns or put any data records so it's completely empty but this is how you can actually connect to your postgresql server using pg admin 4. so this is the desktop client similarly we can also use the web client so let me close it first yes to use the web client we'll go back to our browser and copy this last line of command just copy it open your terminal paste it everything should be fine press enter so it is asking for an email address give your email address i'll just give you a random email address so take time gmail.com this should be it don't forget to remember this address because you will need this one press enter and then give a password type the password again so this email and password will be stored for you now it is asking for some permission so we'd like to say yes type y press enter and also another one for apache server type y press enter and in the end it gives you some link which we have to hit to access the web interface so just copy the link and let's go back to the browser open a new tab paste and go so it will take some time for the first time but it was really quick so now we'll have to provide the email and the password we created just a while ago so let's give our email address so which was take time at gmail.com 
and also the password this should be it press login as you can see we are in the web interface so this is similar to the desktop client everything is as it is there is no server by default but we can always connect to it so right click it click on register server give your server a name so this would be let's give it new server new server web just to be a little bit fancy and then everything should be as it is go back to the connection type in the IP address or localhost both of them will do so localhost would be fine and the username the username we created in the postgresql command line interface so the username is post test and we also created a password for that which would be just provide it here and then click on save password everything should be fine then click on save as you can see we are inside our postgresql server dashboard so here you can see this server is connected so everything should be there we have our database postgres then schemas and inside public we have this table so you can already see that the customer table that we created using the desk desktop client is already there so from here on you can interact with your postgresql database create databases create tables insert data or even connect to one of your project that you are working on all right that would be it for today's video i hope you liked it so don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any question feel free to comment below other than that that's it for today thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye